Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and in this tutorial we will learn how to crochet such beautiful basket with a check mark pattern. And for this tutorial I will use 7 9mm t-shirt yarn, 6mm hook, scissors and a needle with a big eye. So to crochet a basket, first we should crochet a circle. That will be the bottom of the basket. To make a circle, first we have to make a magic ring. For that we take the yarn, put it on the on our hand like this. Here we have the free end of the yarn, a little tip, we we'll, we'll leave here a little tip. And here we have the working yarn. This yarn that goes from the skein. So we take the working yarn we put it over the free end of the yarn now we slip our hook under the free end of the yarn and hook the working yarn take a loop Hook the working yarn and push it through this loop on our hook. Our magic ring is ready. Now we have to make six single crochet inside this ring. So we will insert our hook inside the ring, hook the working yarn. Now we have two loops on our hook. Then we hook the working yarn again and push it through both loops on the hook. Now we've made the first single crochet. And now we should make five more single crochet inside the ring the same way. Two, three, four, five, six. So we've made six single crochet inside the magic ring. Here you can check it, if you've made everything right. One single crochet looks like a check mark. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six. This loop on the hook we don't count. So now we pull this free end of the yarn strong to make a circle <clears throat> so now we almost have a little circle we only need to join it here in this first row I will show you one way how we can do that and in all next rows we will join them in different way in the end you can choose which way you like more and you can use it in all rows. So to join the row, the first row, first make this loop on our hook bigger. Now we have to slip the hook under this first stitch of the first single crochet. We do that from the back side like this. Now we hook this loop and we bring it bring it to the back side.
now we do like this Now we have such loop and first we will pull this strand of the yarn that goes from the skein, our working yarn. And now we will pull again this working yarn, but now this loop looks in a bit different. So we have joined our first row and now we will start to crochet the second row. In the second row we will make two single crochet in every single crochet from the first row. In the first row we made six single crochet. So in the second row we will have 12 single crochet. And where we will insert our hook. We will insert it not under these stitches, but we will insert it in the middle of the single crochet of the first row. For example, here is, we have our first single crochet. From this side it also looks like a check mark. So we will insert our hook in the middle of this single crochet here between these two strands. Right here. And from the back it will look the same in the middle of the single crochet. So we hook the working yarn, make a stitch. Now we have started the second row. So let's find the next single crochet. and insert the hook in the middle of it. Hook the working yarn, two loops. Now again we make the second single crochet at the same place through the same single crochet of the first row. So again we insert the hook at the same place. So now we've made two single crochet in one single crochet of the first row. And we will do like this all the way around. In every single crochet of the first row we will make two single crochet. So the next one here. Hook 
on the back it should be also in the middle so one and the second one at the same place through the same single crochet of the first row next and the second one at the same place So, we've made two single crochet in every single crochet of the first row. Only in first, in the first one, we've made only one single crochet, only one stitch. So, to, to finish this row, we should make one more single crochet in this first single crochet of the first row. By the way, if this hole became so big, you can just pull this free end of the yarn and the hole will disappear. And now we will join this row in different way. If you like it more, you can use it always, in all rows. So, first we make this loop on the hook bigger. Then we slip our hook from the back side under this first stitch of the first single crochet. Like we did it in the first row when we joined it. Hook this loop, bring it to the back side. Now we should insert our hook in the middle of the first single crochet. So the first single crochet was here. So we insert our hook in the middle of it Now we hook the working yarn and take a loop So now we have two loops one here and one here on the back. Now we should hook this loop on the back and push it through the second loop. So now 
we have joined the second row and at the same time we we have started the third row in the second row we've made two single crochet in every single crochet of the first row in the third row we will make one single crochet two single crochet in one single crochet then again one two one two and we will do like this all the way around this first stitch we already have one we will leave it like this so in the next one we will make two single crochet so we insert the hook in the middle of the single crochet from the second row and make two single crochet in the next one we will make one single crochet then again two and to the next one only one then we continue the same way two one two one And in the last one, we will make two single crochet. So first we had one, then two, and the last one also two. So we have two, one, two, one. That means we've made everything right. And now again we will join this third row make the loop bigger slip our hook from the back side under the first stitch hook this loop bring it to the back side then insert our hook in the middle of the first single crochet hook the working yarn and then hook the loop on the back and push it through the second loop and we have joined the third row and we have started the fourth 
row here. In all next rows, we will add one more single crochet. For example, if here we had one, two, one, two, one, two. In the, in the next row, we will make one, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. In the next one, we will have one, 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 two. One, 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 two. And all the way around like this. So in every row, we add one more single crochet. And one important thing, when in next rows we will make two single crochet in one single crochet, we do that only over one single crochet. For example, here we can make two single crochet. We don't make two single crochet over another two single crochet. Here, over, an, over two single crochet, we make only one single crochet. One here and one here. Because if you will make two single, single crochet over another two single crochet, in the end you will get not a circle, but a hexagon. So remember about that and pay attention to it. So as I said before, in every row we add one more single crochet. In this row we had two, one, two, one, two, one. So in the next row we will have one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So let's see. Here we have one already. So we have to make one and then two. But we see that here we have two single crochet in one single crochet. So we can't make here two single crochet. We can't make it here and we can't make it here. So we have to make only one and one. Then in the end, when we finish this row, we will just make one more single crochet in this single crochet. And we will have here two. Here we will have one, one. And here we will make again two. And everything will be okay. If you don't understand, if it's not very clear uh, ex how I explain, you will see now on practice, you will understand. So here we make one. Here again one. And then two. You see here we have only one single crochet, so we make two over over it. One and two. Then again one. One, two, again one. Two. One. One. 
one, two, one, one and the next one should be two this was our first stitch so we just make the second one at the same single crochet so now we have here Two, one, one. Two, one, one. Everything is right. And we follow the rules that we don't make two single crochet over another two single crochet. Now we join our row the same way. And we have started the next row. In the next row, we also add one more single crochet. And now we will make one, 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 two. One, 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 two. So we make three single crochet and then two in one. Then again, see, uh, then again, three thing, single crochet and then two in one. Now we should decide where we will make two single crochet in one and where we will make one single crochet. So here we have the nearest two single crochet in one single crochet. So here we will definitely make only one and here only one. And we should, we should have one more single crochet here or here. So we could have three single crochet and then two in one. So the best way for now, for us now, is to make here two single crochet in one. Then we will have one, one, one. And then again two in one. Let's see. Here we make two. In the next one we will make one then again one again one and then two two in one then repeat the same one one One, 
one and two. So you see everywhere where, where we, we have two single crochet in one, over, over them we make only one, 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 here also, one, one. This is an important rule. So continue to do the same steps all the way around. And again, one, one, and one. And then we have again two. So we made this row right. We have two, one, 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 and two. And we join the saw the same way. And let's make the last row. In, in this row we had three single crochet and then two in one. In the next row we will make four single crochet and then two single crochet in one. So here we already have one stitch. So we will make here One, 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 and two. So we have now one 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 two four single crochet then we repeat the same first we make four single crochet
and then two single crochet in one. We continue making that all the way around. And in the last one, we make two single crochet. So we can check ourselves. Here we have two, one, 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 two. So we have four single crochet between those places where we made two single crochet in one. That means we've made everything right. And since this was our last row, now we will join the row in different way because we will start to crochet uh, the basket walls. For that, first we make this loop bigger as before. We slip our hook from the back side under the first stitch of the first single crochet, hook our loop So now we hook the working yarn and take a loop So now look on the back we have here such bumps in every single crochet We will insert our hook now under this bump, this one, but we will do that not from this side, we will do that from this side. Remember that loop that we've made long and then we brought it back here, it's this one. So, first we turned the hook and now we insert it between, like in the middle of this loop that we had, here in the middle. And then we insert our hook under this bump. Now we hook the working yarn and take a loop here. Now we have two loops on the hook. Now we change the position of our hook. Here we have one loop and the second one. So we insert our hook like this. And now we push this loop through the second one. So now we have started to crochet baskets walls.
Before we will continue, uh, we should hide this tip inside the circle. For that we take a needle with big eye and just hide it inside the circle in different directions. So it would be strong. And then we will just cut the rest of the tip. Before we will start to crochet the basket's walls, I advise you to do the wet heat treatment with an iron, to steam it with an iron. Uh, after this, the shape of the circle will become even better and if there are any small imperfections uh, while your circle is hot and wet you can uh, fix its shape by hands and for the best result uh, you can put your circle uh, under a press for several hours or for one night for example and the bottom of your future basket will be just perfect so I have done with the wet heat treatment, I've steamed my circle, I don't know if you can see the difference on the video, but it actually uh, looks better, the shape is better, it's completely flat. And now we can start to crochet the walls of the basket. And now we already have the first stitch. We will crochet the walls uh, with the single crochet. Everywhere around will be single crochet. Uh, so where we will insert our hook. We will insert the hook under this back loop of the stitch. and under these bumps these so so we insert the hook under the back loop of the stitch and under the bump hook the yarn and we just make a normal single crochet the next one
So now we continue to single crochet all the way around the same way. So we have finished our first row of the walls. And now we will join the row the same way as we did it when we were crocheting uh, a circle. So we make our loop on the hook bigger, slip our hook under the stitch of the first single crochet, under the first stitch, hook the loop, Now we insert our hook in the middle of the first single crochet that we've made in this row. Here, this one was the first one. So we will insert our hook in the middle of this single crochet. Then we hook our working yarn Take a loop, and now we push this loop through this one. the same way as we did it in the circle. Now we start to crochet the second row of the walls, inserting our hook in the middle of the single crochet, hook in the yarn, the working yarn, And everywhere around we make only one single crochet. I mean we don't make two single crochet in one as we did it in the circle. Everywhere only one single crochet in all rows of the walls. So let's finish the second row with single crochet. We have finished the second row of the walls. Now our basket looks like this. So we join the row as always. So let's crochet four more rows the same way as we did it with the first two rows. So we have finished our last row. And this row we will not join the same way as before because now we will start to crochet a rim for this basket to make it even more beautiful. So for that we slip our hook under this stitch, the first stitch of the row. 
We hook the working yarn, take a loop and we push this loop through this one. And now all the way around we will insert our hook uh, under these stitches. under these stitches then hook the working yarn and now again we push this loop through this one And again, And the last one. So we have finished our rim before this stitch. that joined our last row and started uh, the rim. We finished before, before it. Now we leave here tip and we pull it out Now we take a needle with a big eye. You also can do the same with your hook if you like it more or if you don't have such needle. So now we slip our needle under this stitch Uh, that's the stitch that joined our last row and started the rim. I was talking about it now. Our working yarn, this tip, it goes from the middle of this stitch. You see? So now we will bring it back to the middle of the same stitch and then here on top in the middle of this stitch. I will show you 
better now. This one. As you can see, here we have a stitch and here a stitch. And it looks like we missed one stitch here. It doesn't look the same as everywhere. It's not very beautiful. So now we will fix it. Now we will insert our needle under this stitch like this. This one. And now we will bring it back to the same stitch, to the middle of it. So we have finished the rim and the whole basket. So now we only need to hide this tip of the yarn the same way as we did it with the circle. And then we just cut the rest of the yarn. So our basket is ready. You can make any size of the basket you want, making the circle bigger or smaller and also uh, making more or less rows in the walls of the basket. I hope you like this video, you've made your beautiful basket and in the next video I will show you how you can make cute cat's ears for your basket. So. Thank you for watching and see you soon!